race against time. The Kincaid fire tearing through Northern California's wine country is not slowing down. Crews are trying to knock down the flames before the next round of strong winds. 150,000 people remain under evacuation order. Really frustrated. Just not knowing what to do. Yeah, living paycheck to paycheck and uh, you know, not having enough money to go somewhere else. Air quality was a major concern at this couple's wedding. They handed out masks to guests. The fire is now burned through 75,000 acres, threatening more than 90,000 homes and businesses. Slow removal. Workers are now bringing in six tons of rocks to stabilize an overturned cargo ship off the Georgia coast. We're also getting a new look inside the ship thanks to laser technology. Pictures show cars stuck inside. The ship overturned last month in the St. Simon Sound. Four sailors were rescued. In the hot seat, Boeing CEO facing tough questions at a Senate hearing about two deadly crashes involving its 737 MAX plane. The father of one victim wants to know why the company didn't ground the planes after the first crash. It's people like uh, Danielle who were trying to, to make a change in this world and her life was snuffed out by greed. The crash has killed 346 people. Investigators link the crashes to a software design flaw that caused the planes to nosedive. All Boeing 737 MAX planes are now grounded. Back in church. Former President Jimmy Carter will teach Sunday school this weekend. Maranatha Baptist Church in Plain says it's going to stream the sermon online. President Carter broke his pelvic bone at his home in South Georgia last week. That caused him to miss his weekly Sunday school teachings over the weekend.